Hello there from Port Aventura, day two. There's a lot of people running because it is the official opening day of Uncharted, the Enigma of Penitence here at Port Aventura. New Intamin roller coaster opening in the far west area of the park. If you haven't already seen, there is a preview day video on the channel. Really good coaster. In this video from Port Aventura, we're going to do something a little bit different than run to a new coaster. We're going to walk around the park and show what I would consider as the best order to do the roller coasters here on a normal day and not a ride opening day. So for example, it'd be like Dragon Khan first, Shambhala after that, and then sort of go from there. And uh, it's going to be very busy today. It's very, very, very busy out at the entrance. A lot of queue jumping already just to scan your tickets to get in. It's going to be one of those days, I think, where there's a lot of queue jumping going on. So I'm expecting a very, very busy day. We are going to try and do all the coasters. We're going to do the saloon show, probably watch the parade, get them in the video as well. Just try and show you more of the part than we did in yesterday's vlog. Here we are then. Here is the Dragon Khan queue. 10 o'clock mark. Excited? Yeah, mate. Very, very excited. Oh, Can't wait for people coming through. Look out. As I was saying in the intro to the video, there'll be a lot of that today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking forward to this. Yeah, it was all right yesterday, to be fair, better than expected, so hopefully today's the same. And just to show that we've not just kind of skipped a, an hour's queue in the video, there really is very few in this queue so far. And then it'll be off to Shambhala. It's yeah. already on three trains by the looks of it. Yeah, that should be straight on then, really. Yeah, spot on. Dragon Khan then mate. Probably the best it's run since 2013 for me. It was forceful, had a little bit of a rattle to it but wasn't uncomfortable, wasn't rough. So whatever work they've done since last time I rode it in 19, you know, keep up with that and it back to its best. I didn't think it was going to be any different or any better than yesterday but it was actually better yeah. for some reason. And back row as well. Yeah again we didn't get row four. Yeah. Uh, there was two people already in the back row queue so we thought we're in a group of two at the minute, so we might as well just jump in with them. Yeah, exactly. So it's now about 10.27. We've had a drink as well of uh, Coke. It's quite good, actually, because you get um, a recyclable... Recyclable, I can't say it. Can you say that? You get a recyclable cup. There we go. And then if you return it, you get two euros or euro back, so a euro back a cup. I think it's a good idea, because it means they can reuse it. It's just not loads of stuff being chucked away. So we've been on Dragon Khan, we've had a drink, and now we're in the Shambhala queue. It's going to open in about five minutes. The queue for it is spilling out towards Dragon Khan Station, but the main queue line isn't open yet, and it is testing on free trains. So I don't think it's going to take us long, to be quite honest. Shambhala, an hour and 20 minutes. Shambhala on free trains. Free train stacking every single time. And don't even blame it on the staff. There is so much faffing for people getting on that ride and getting off it. That I'd honestly not blame Port Aventura for saying, right, no more storage in the station. Got to buy a locker because honestly, I've seen Boeing 747s loading quicker than Shambhala. People are just dawdling, getting on it, taking selfies, putting their bags over. Oh, actually, I just need to go and get this. Or then having a conversation mid-platform when they're getting off. Did you like it? Yeah, it's good. Get off the bloody ride and let someone else get on it, for God's sake. The staff are just stood there like, what's going on here? Or is it just me? Oh, it's just like that. Well, you know, it's just, it's just frustrating. 
I don't think the baggage situation helps where it's all in one place on the station because obviously at that point everybody has to go to that one. It's yeah. not like it's spread along it, like at say Balda for instance. Yeah, agreed. And everyone has to go there and then obviously then they start loading the train and everything where they're waiting in the same area where they're getting the stuff off. So I don't think that helps but I say there's always there's always seems to be issues where it's like next week will do for getting on the coaster. Just faffing it, it's like you know when you sat on a plane, you get on the plane and you're one of the first on, you just see people dawdling and you know, oh put that bag up, oh get that out of the bag, oh put that, I'll go and get this, I'll get that and it was like that, there was people getting on and off the train, it's like sit down, pull your lap bar down, let's go. But they just, there's a lot of faffing, no urgency and a lot of queue jumping and it didn't help that Shambhala opened 20 minutes late, so that doesn't help. But what this part needs more of, lockers like this by all the ride stations, I don't care, charges 10 euros for the day to move rides, to ride, to ride, to ride with bags in lockers, more for it, it's needed. Works in America, it'd work here. It helped the operations so much, and you can see that it's frustrating the staff as well. You really can, because they're just like, it can't look good on the staff, stacking free trains on Shambhala. It's stacking a while on it though as well, it's not like you just hit the brave one and then no. a little way and move forward, you top of your head's getting burnt. Joined the queue in June, yeah. left the queue in July. Next up, Mark, El Diablo. Yeah. Not a bad queue really, although here we go again, a lot of passer. What's going on here? Free for all. Just walked to the front of the queue, my mate stood there in the air gates. Waiting for me. Yeah, Jimmy's here, so I'm just gonna walk through. That's how it works here. Um, El Diablo, free trades. Doesn't seem too bad. T depends how many people decide they're gonna walk past us though. El Diablo, five minute queue, lots of queue jumping, no, uh, no luggage storage on the station, so there's no faffing, you get in, you go, that's what needs to happen on Shambhala. The ride itself, it's alright, it's a family coaster, that's a big queue for Uncharted. It is, especially that Castle Pen further back as well. Yeah, Taran's Castle Pen of Doom has uh, got some competition. It has, it has, it'll be a be a long wait now, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. Especially with all the queue jumping going on. Yeah, because obviously that's, this is just the uh, outside bit, quite an inside bit as well. Yeah, so uh, I don't think we're, we're going to get a chance to do it today. However, we have got a review on the channel. We'll put a link in the top of the screen and at the end of the video for that video. For now though, Andy, Hi. you've now been on it. Yes. What did you make of it? It was a good ride, a few surprises, which was very enjoyable. The multi-launch was good. Yeah, really good ride. Excellent. It. Right, we're now going to brave Stampede. Well, some <laughs> of us are, aren't we? You're not. <laughs> no, back, I don't think the back will take it again. No. Can I use that excuse? Oh, that's, that's up to you. <laughs> Sounds like an excellent excuse, but someone else thinks it's the best woody in the country. Best, best rider P8 for me. Why are we going on Stampedia? Why have we done it now twice on this trip? Well, three times, I think. Best, uh, best coaster here, that's why. Fast, ferocious, bit of interaction with the other train. Yeah. What could you want for a ride? New trains, that's what more I could want. Yeah, and new baggage as well. Yeah, I mean, we've spoken about baggage a lot today already. You do have to take your bags on, which does probably help the dispatches a little bit. But it is still another one of those tedious queues that just seems to take forever. I think it's what you, you literally on the ramps all the way up, yeah. and it just you don't feel any movement for ages, and then you get a big movement, and then nothing, and then a big movement. Of course, the fast pass queues are rammed as well. It's just it's not a good day for queuing. Obviously, we're here for an opening day, a brand new roller coaster in this part. It's not had a brand new roller coaster since 2012, so. It's always going to be popular in one of the most popular theme parks in Europe. But yeah, exactly. And you know, it's 
nice weather, everyone's going to come out anyway. Yeah. Even if Uncharted wasn't here, it would still be rammed. So, you know, in a yeah. way, I'm glad that it has opened because a lot of people are in that queue. Yeah. So, overall, it's, it's not the day for getting around and lapping coasters. So, it's a bit warm as well. It is rather warm today, hotter today than yesterday. So, yeah. I'm not exaggerating when I say it feels as warm as Florida today. It really, I mean, I don't often wear a v neck, me, but need as much air getting in as possible, although that is going to be too far with the <laughs> But yeah, it's, you know what? If it had different trades, I'd really like Stampede. Like, I used to like, really like it when it had the PTC trades, but it's just, just these new trades are probably a bit of trap work, and I think it'd be perfect for what it is. What's the plan other than melt? Melt, melt, I think, I don't know. We'll, we'll have a look and see what it is, because obviously now, after the Stampede, we're talking about the back over. Bloom, Rapids, back over kind of way. Yeah. And we've put the saloon show for R5 as well. Yeah. Can't wait for the aircon. Could right. it just be R5, please? Yes. In yesterday's video, my friend Mark, who's stood over here somewhere, told us that if it was 30 degrees or more, go on the water ride. How warm is it, mate? 29.9 <laughs> 31 Are you coming on the rapids? Come He's going to do it He's going to do it Now I've got another bribing tactic here as well So I asked Andy If Andy was going to come on the rapids He says, oh no, I don't fancy it I says, Charlie, your grandson Has been on this And he would love to see Grandad Andy on the rapids So you can't really get out of it, can you? Yeah. I'm mushing on black milk it's it's great. Great. It. See Charlie don't moan at me. All right. <laughs> well, first, this is you two on the rapids. I think his eye always gets soaked on it as well. Ah, you'll be all good. Andy's going to get it, I think. Oh, I assume it's last time, yeah. All three water rides got the sucking. One of them I thought was being sustained. <laughs> Grand Canyon Rapids. Me, in it. <laughs> Good. No one's on the jets. <laughs> oh, I just missed them. Good. <laughs> I've got wet feet. I don't know how, but <laughs> ah, go on, get Mark. <laughs> <laughs> got away with it so far, you two. Just the waterfalls now, <laughs> we're all good. Uh oh. I don't like the way this is spinning, I have to be honest. Spins more than right to happiness. It does actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's gamble. Oh. <laughs> You're the lock plume now, mate. Nah, I'm good, thank you. Light sprinkling. <laughs> Light sprinkling. Well, I don't know about that. You alright there, Andy? Yeah, left side's right. Right's a bit wet. Spins a lot, this. Yeah. Better than right to happiness as well. He's just trying to get me in trouble here. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of the rapids because all it is now is a, a lift hill for ages where Mark's just going to complain all about it. Nah, I'm all good now. Yeah, we're all good. We did the rapids, don't need to say much about it. Mark's agreed now he's going to do them all the time, any weather, any time, or not. Absolutely not. It needs to be at least 30, 36, I think, now. <laughs> if we upped it a little bit, just yeah. in case. 30, 36, 37 degrees, might contemplate it. <laughs> I hope it's hot in California whenever we go. 
but we'll see. Andy Romney says it's not as warm as Florida though. It, well, apparently it's not, but I, I might just go in like a January or something like that. <laughs> yeah, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, the rapids and the log flume here are brilliant. Um, the plan probably now is Fiori's Baco, best coaster here. Said nobody ever. <laughs> It's a tuning fork. You, you know, the further out, further back you go, on the outside seats, dreadful, absolutely dreadful. I don't even know how to fix it. I don't. I don't think you can. I think the only way I think you get rid of the vibration is you have new trains that are over the track. Yeah. Like actual two seats in the middle, over the track, no wings. Yeah, that's the only way I think. But then you've got to remove the launch. Yeah. And that's the best thing about it. So. I mean, I like it. I was in the inside seat again. I don't mind it so much, but I wouldn't like to be on the outside seat. There's nothing pleasant about the outside seats. No, it's uncomfortable. I mean, I don't know if the, uh, the drop off of the load belt helps a lot, because it seems as though when you go down that bit, it just bounces. Yeah, but it doesn't on the launch, does it? No, it does it on the launch. As soon as it drops and down that little dip, it just bounce, 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 and never recovers from it, unfortunately. If it does have to go, which, let's be honest, the hydraulic launch coasters are probably coming to the end of their time in the next 10 years, an LSM Fiorio Spaco 2 with a different layout, with a bit going over the water still, that'd be ace. But I don't know how they save it without completely removing it, basically. No. But I don't think they will for a long time until it's like beyond repair, so we'll see how it goes. But I do like it, but only if I'm in a middle seat, I could not do it on an outside seat. Next up then is the Can Cam West show. Warm, isn't it, mate? It is a bit warm. Cooling down a bit now, though. The sun's coming over, but it's been warm for the last couple of hours. Yeah, so it's a bit of a, bit of a breeze now, probably going to be a storm, but heading into the Long Branch Saloon, Can Cam West, minimum consumption purchase. <laughs> Gotta get a drink, so good opportunity to get some Estrella or uh, more coke or water or a hot dog. You always have to buy something when you go in, basically. Usually you can film in here, so we'll uh, get some of the show on camera. Hey, Giri. English, Giri, what you doing? Good? Good night, yeah. Great. I have a person for you, too. Okay. See, see. Golden coins. Eh, <laughs> uh, you know for what? For travel to Turkey. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's not a pillow, it's not a pillow. Hombre, and the señora Luis, por favor, lo que es esto, oiga, me he venido a probar. Oh, 
lo ha cargado tú. ¡Te vas a enterar! ¡Ay, no, espera, para! Absolutely, mate, especially because we've got a little bit of a, hey. you know, interaction. You know what I mean, eh? Born in Australia, but hey, here we are. I'm off to Turkey, sort me her out. You know what I mean? <laughs> come by, come by, different man. <laughs> it's funny how you got picked out. <laughs> I don't know what it is, you know what I mean? I attract them, but I'll tell you what, great show, innit? Great show. I just find it funny that the guy, the actor that said to you about being bald, He's bald himself. The thing is, I've probably got more hair than him and everything. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great show, great guys. The two guys that were in there, they've been in there as long as I've been watching it. The first time I watched it was like 2012, so yeah, it's a great show. Uh, it's a bit of faff, wasn't it, getting a drink though? It was a bit of faff. You know, I seemed to go back to the same tables and you ordered more beers, but at the end of the day, it is all in Spanish, but you certainly get the gist of what's going on. You and do, that's yeah. All you can ever say about it. But it is a great way to spend 45 minutes out of the sun. Out of the sun. And yes. if you're lucky enough, <laughs> get some chocolate <laughs> coins. Get some chocolate coins. It's a bit better than they used to give out. They just used to give out a plastic star. Yeah, so you well, could be the sheriff. <laughs> well, so I've been the sheriff. The sheriff. Right, what's the plan? Oh, More chilling. More chilling. More chilling.
two days at Porto Ventura, today being the longer day. How has it been for you today? Let's start with. Today's been a bit frustrating at times. Yeah. You know, it's been busy, totally expected. Like, just reminding me of 2019 again, should be in Andy. And that'll be Gambala last ride, advertised at 45 minutes, two hours we waited. And at the end, they were loading half trains. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Why, why are you loading half the train? Like, it just, it was just tedious and pointing. You know, overall, I've enjoyed Dragon Khan, I've enjoyed Shambhala, I've enjoyed San Peter, I've enjoyed Unchai, which is a fabulous new attraction. It's just, it just lets itself down sometimes. I get a bit frustrated with it overall. And it does a lot well. It could just do a little bit more. For me, anyway, I agree. I mean, when we, when you guys said you were going to do Shambhala on that last go, obviously, as you know, I walked up to the top of the queue and I just thought, I'm not doing it because I just know what it's like, especially at this time of the day when you get towards the end, it just seems to take even longer than normal. For some, most parts, if you go to a park and you find that the ops are a bit slow, usually in that last hour, it's like, well, hey, here we go, 2,000 people per hour. Yeah, all the time. But, for some reason here it just seems to take longer and I don't know why but I, I still think I don't think the issue is the ride ops. I really don't. I think it's just there's too much faffing. Just I think you've got to get rid of storage in the station. It, it affects it like I say sometimes like so loading half a train is, is not a guest fault. No, well that's it, true. It, you know it's that's that's a staff. Whatever's happened, we don't know. They loaded half the train, it's like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Other times, yeah, it is. It's 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 guests being really slow, taking the last final selfies or whatever, but you just find it a bit frustrating when things could be done differently. What went well? Oh Chai was excellent. Dragon Khan, best it's run for, for ten years, I think. Most improved coaster. <laughs> yeah, if he's awarded a medal for it, it will get it. And you know, Shambhala, Shambhala, and the day Stampede has done well. You know, it's been, it's been, it's had a great atmosphere around the park. We've had the show, obviously. You know, the saloon show's always good. Fabulous cast, fabulous interaction. I think it's good how, like, when we spoke to Alex from yeah. the show, came down, said hello. I think mean, that's really good. I really enjoyed that. Enjoyed the parade. Sad you guys missed it, obviously. But even like the bit that we did after the parade was a bit shorter than usual. Yeah. Like normally they'd have a couple of their theme tunes on which are all outside here, but I was quite surprised because they got the fountains on and everything. But maybe it's because Baco's still going. Then they maybe thought we need to cut it short because Baco's still got like an hour's queue. Yeah, well, Shambhala might still have an hour's queue. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's, what was annoying more than anything is the, the queue was shorter than we had this morning. Yeah, but it's taken twice as long. Yeah. So. That's, that's uh, overall though, I think good to be back. Yeah, agreed. If Port Ventura could like do something with the operations, be one of the best parts in Europe in terms of everything. For me, it's one of the best atmospheres in Europe, but the way things are run, it's just, it can be so frustrating. But all in all, it's been great to be back, great to have some company in the park, and uh, I'll probably be back for Halloween. I'm gonna try and convince Mark and Mike to do the same and Andy and we might have an event here in December so if you are interested in that drop us an email hello at your experience guide got info I think I've got that right if not it'll probably not send uh, <laughs> I'll put it in the description just in case but yeah we might be doing an event here in December so drop us a line if you're interested there won't be an ERT though because oh, I'm not going to say what I was going to say it was a lot of money but yeah that's all for now Part Warner? Yeah. Should we go? Batman. Come on, let's go. We're off. Part Warner. Time to go Madrid right now. Thank you very much, Port Aventura. We'll see you soon.